What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Steve's Corner, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys this Easter egg I found in Legend of the Wendigo Nightmare Mode. So, first of all, to find this Easter egg, I don't know if this is required, but I I just did this with Squirrel Squirrel Wars Blessing. I'm pretty sure it'd work the best with that. Um, okay, start the game. Okay, guys. So I found a couple Easter eggs, and I'm just in shock after what I just saw. I am in shock after what I just saw. Okay, I found this really weird Easter egg. Game on. Okay. I'll just wait a second for the sound to go away. Okay. First of all, why is there a flashlight right here? I don't know. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um. Anyway, where to find this Easter egg is, um, okay, first of all, let me discuss to you what the Easter egg is. Today, we are about to, uh, figure out and find where the Wendigo spawns and where you start and, like, where you start, like, the place you start when you first enter the game, like, the lobby, like, where you get, like, Squirtle's Blessing and stuff. We're about to find that. Okay, guys, so to find where the Wendigo spawns, first of all, when you spawn, you'll spawn like this. Look behind you, you will see this, all right? Uh, so when you go to it, you go to this little tunnel thing. You will see an outline of it. Go up that outline. You you can do this, and I don't. I think you can actually even do this in normal mode because all you're doing is really just doing a simple jump. I'm not, actually I'm pretty sure this is a higher jump. I don't know. I'll test normal mode in just a second so we can confirm that. Um, but okay. So now that you're up here, you're up here on top of the little cave thing you spawn at. Okay, go over like around like right here or something. And look, you can go through it. You can go through this. Okay, you are in a place where you are not supposed to be. Or I, at least I don't think so, unless this is meant to be an Easter egg. So you are out of the map in general, like the, you're not out of the map technically, because you're, this is still the map, but you're out of the map that you're supposed to be in. Okay, so when uh, you'll be in an area like this next, um, go over here and like this little, you'll find this right here. If you go over here, okay, um, first of all, you'll find this. Go forward just a little bit more. I'm gonna go forward a little more. And look right here, the Wendigo. Now, guys, it's not moving because it hasn't had the ability to be able to move. Because, I mean, if I press the button, that's gonna start moving. Like the battery button, if I'm able to press that, like when I do. And um, first of all, yes, guys, I'm gonna give you the answer. Yes, you can still get jump scared by him. If you're out of the map and you touch him, you're still gonna get jump scared. That doesn't affect whether you get jump scared or not. For some reason, there is a flashlight back here, so that's another Easter egg. But this is where the Wendigo spawns, basically. Um, and this is not even the only Easter egg. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys where the part is where you like spawn, like start, like where you actually start. Um, so if you so go on the so if you're facing toward the Wendigo like right here go this way go to the right of the Wendigo keep going all the way over here okay and you'll go through some more rocks right here and you should be able to go through this black wall too and then you'll find like the edge of the map and everything um so let's go forward keep going forward after you go get to like the edge of the map just keep going. I'm just, oh yeah, you will fall off, but you won't quite die because, like, that's not how it works really. So just keep going forward, and I'll tell you where exactly it is when you keep going forward. I don't know what this is exactly. I really don't know. I just saw that too, but I can't figure out what it is. Um. Okay, and then you'll make make it to this corner, which is the edge of the map. And then you can go forward, and you guys can probably already see that little black box. If not, I will take you straight to that. You guys see that little black box? That is where you spawn. Like, so I'm not talking about like where you spawn when you like press start and like the start button. I'm talking about when you enter the game, like the actual game. You start, you start at the part where you can get your perks and stuff, and like just the lobby of the Wendigo. And uh, yeah, and then this is actually where you spawn. And if you guys want to see that, for a fact, well, see for yourself. You, you see the part that says perks, right? You see that? Because that's where you, that's where all the perks are, meaning this is where you start. So yeah, that's the secrets I wanted to show you guys. Now, 
To answer your question of whether you can actually do this in like normal mode, well, let's go. Let's go to normal mode. I haven't actually checked that, that out. So I'm just gonna check really quick to see if you can. Let's go to Legend of the Wendigo, the normal one. Okay. Cause I'm not really sure if it's just Squirrel or blessing, like it makes you to where you can jump high enough to have the ability to actually jump on that part, like where you have to jump on the little tunnel outline. Or if that's just literally what you can do. I mean, I don't know if Squirrel or the person that made this meant to do this, like meant to make it where you can do that as an Easter egg. But I'm just going to make a video right here showing you guys about it. So let's start. Okay, now, I don't know, I'm pretty sure, like, the lobby might be bigger, like, if it's in the Stay same place on. as it is in Nightmare Mode, I'm not for sure, that's, there's only one way to find out by trying to go over there. Okay, you can't actually jump, okay, guys, so you cannot do this in normal mode, unfortunately, but you can do it in Nightmare Mode, if you have, even if you don't, well, Okay, in order to do it, I don't know if jump... Let, let's just do a couple more tests to see what you can do. I'm not going to use Squirrel Door's Blessing this time. I'm just going to use a Night... You, so you have to be in Nightmare Mode, at least. You have to at least be in Nightmare Mode to do this. So, let's go to another private. Unless there's, like, another... Over. Unless there's a, another way to get over there without, like, you know, all the perks and stuff in normal mode. I don't really know another way, but if you guys know or someone else knows, then, you know, they're... I, I guess... But uh, I'm just showing you the way I figured out. This is just very weird, guys. I don't know if this is a bug or an Easter egg. I, I'm gonna call it an Easter egg because it's something that you know you're not really supposed to know about or it's not supposed to happen. So I'm gonna call it an Easter egg. Easter eggs are usually supposed to happen, but I'm gonna call this an Easter egg anyway. So we're not going to get Squirrel's blessing. We have to at least have jump two, which uh, I'm gonna have to pay for that. Just really quick. All right, start. Okay, now let's see if you can do it with jump two. I'm pretty sure you actually can, maybe you can. That's pretty good. That's good news. And it only costs 25 tokens too. I'm waiting for the sound to go away, it's annoying. Okay, now let's see if you can do it with jump two. Remember guys, that's the least expensive thing in the perks, so you can get it for just 25 tokens. Let's see if you can, oh, you can do it guys, you can do it. You can go outside of the map. We'll be able to. See, and you will be in the same place, basically. Okay guys, so well, that's going to end it off for today. Um, thank you for watching, and it's very weird to think. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I don't know if that was intentional, but if it was not, um, Squirrelador, it's set up to where people can easily just go up there. Not that he really cares and so is going to update it. I'm not even sure what's going to happen there, but I don't know if I'm the first one to, to discover this bug. I Probably not. I don't know if I'm the... I might be the first person to ever actually post a video of it. I'm really not sure. Um, all I know is I just literally found it and I'm like, oh, what? Because because what I was doing at the time was I was just uh, get it, trying to get up there for some weird reason. And I was just trying to look around and I went through the rocks also. And I'm like, wait, what? Because what I was trying to do at the time was I since I had Squirrel Door's Blessing, I was like, okay, well, can I find some Easter eggs? And there you go. I found an Easter egg. And I am now posting that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, go try this out for yourself. If you guys find any more in this Easter egg, uh, comment below. Because actually, I didn't go through every single corner. So, actually, I don't know. Because all I did was I went in and then I went like, boom, went this way. And then I turned and showed you where that one room was. But I didn't go across like the whole entire map. Like, I didn't go in a whole circle so there might be even more on the other sides i don't know like i said um if you do find some comment below i might actually go check but comment anyway just uh for any people that look at the comments to go check out themselves and i will see you guys with another video anyway um bye guys